As NFL training camps get into full swing, so do the pro careers of some of college football's biggest stars from a year ago. And between all the meetings and the hazing, these players trying to set themselves up for a successful rookie season. Ray Crawford here with our NFL Draft Insider, Russ Landis. As we take a look here at the NFC, uh, Minnesota Offensive Coordinator Russ Norv Turner said here recently that he thought Teddy Bridgewater should have been a top 10 pick. Fortunately for them, he slipped and fell down to 32. What has his offseason been like there for the Vikings? I think it could not have been better. Um, he has been so great for them. They were blown away immediately by his leadership, the way he worked off the field, the way he takes command of everything. He's done a great job throwing the ball throughout the offseason. They're really excited that if he continues throwing the ball this well, once the pads are on in training camp, that he could be their starting quarterback opening day because his intangibles, his leadership have been so impressive throughout the whole offseason. There are a lot of people who believe Jordan Matthews will start for Chip Kelly right away in Philadelphia. What has he done to deserve those high expectations? Well, you know, it's sort of ironic that Matthews was a dominant player in college, caught a ton of balls, always got open and made big plays, but people sort of knocked him because he wasn't a fast guy, didn't really blow people away at the Senior Bowl with his speed. All he's done since he got to the Eagles is exactly what he did in college, run tremendous routes, get open, pick the playbook up in the in blink of an eye, and catch every ball thrown his direction. He's going to play a lot this year, and don't be shocked if he ends up being their sort of go-to guy because he's so big and strong. He could be that clutch guy in the red zone. Aaron Donald told reporters he took just three days off this summer, put in a lot of work where have we seen that here in the offseason well you've seen it in that he's been the Rams best player throughout the OTAs he was a dominant guy he was pretty much unblockable even though they're really not in pads so for a defensive lineman it's not a great showing he was incredible from what everybody at the Rams has have told me and after the uh, OTAs were over their offensive coordinator actually said he was the MVP of their offseason. Don't be shocked if he ends up being a guy that gets seven or eight sacks from a defensive tackle position, which is hard. So many expect Donald to start right away. Not, though, the case for Brock Vereen there in Chicago, the fourth rounder. What has he done, though, this offseason to get himself in the best position, though, to earn time in Chicago? Well, he's really taken advantage of the fact that Chris Conti, last year's starting safety, has been injured, and Vereen has just been spectacular. He's picked up the, the defense very quickly. He's a very smart kid who played both corner and safety in college, and the Bears love that they can really line him up anywhere. They can put him over the slot. They can put him deep at safety. They can even move him out the corner in an emergency because he's such a smart kid. He's an underrated athlete with great ball skills. I've been told by people that if he continues to play as he has throughout the offseason during training camp, he could end up keeping that job from Conti even when Conti's healthy. Oh, nice, pleasant surprise for Bears fans who no are question. looking forward to that. Russ, thanks very much. C.J. Mosley, Bradley Roby, and others gear up for their rookie seasons in the AFC. Russ updates us on their offseason only on CampusInsiders.com. Hey, they're starving for a title in Chicago. Yeah, and I mean, AFC, Manziel, is that where we're going? <laughs> That's right. Everybody. <laughs>